The exact calculation and efficient supply of fuel to the aircraft are critical components of the preparation of long-haul flights, which are among the most energy-intensive in the aviation industry. We will examine the refueling procedure in detail and the amount of fuel consumed during a typical flight. For instance, one of the longest routes within Russia is a long-haul flight from Moscow to Vladivostok. The airliner may necessitate up to 100,000 liters of aviation kerosene for a single flight, contingent upon the aircraft model, selected route, weather conditions, and payload. This volume of fuel is truly impressive and underscores the scale of aviation logistics. To visualize this quantity, consider approximately 2,000 full car fuel tanks, each containing 50 liters of fuel. A narrow-body aircraft, such as the Airbus A320 or Boeing 737, may necessitate approximately 15,000 to 20,000 liters of aviation kerosene for a typical short-haul flight, such as those from Moscow to St. Petersburg. The energy consumption is substantial, even for relatively brief trips, as this is approximately equivalent to 300 to 400 50-liter car fuel tanks. A wide-body aircraft, such as the Boeing 777 or Airbus A330, could utilize approximately 50,000 to 60,000 liters of fuel per flight on a medium-haul international route, such as Moscow to Dubai. To provide context, this is equivalent to approximately 1,000 to 1,200 standard vehicle fuel tanks, illustrating the substantial increase in fuel requirements as flight distance and aircraft size increase. Fuel consumption can range from 130,000 to 150,000 liters for ultra-long-haul international flights, such as the New York to Singapore route operated by Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 aircraft. This is the equivalent of 2,600 to 3,000 full vehicle fuel tanks, illustrating the substantial logistical effort required to bolster global air travel at these distances. Finally, the dimensions and range of cargo aircraft are highly variable. For example, the Antonov AN-124, a heavy lift aircraft that operates over extended distances, may require up to 120,000 liters of fuel per flight which is equivalent to 2,400 car tanks. In contrast, the turboprop ATR-72, a smaller cargo plane, may require less than 5,000 liters of fuel, or approximately 100 car tanks. The aviation kerosene grade TS-1 is employed for civil passenger transport. This fuel is highly regarded for its technical properties, including its low temperature resistance and high volatility, which are particularly critical for the operation of aircraft in various climatic conditions in Russia and abroad. The fuel container's location is an intriguing fact. Contrary to popular belief, tanks are more often in the aircraft's wings than in the fuselage or tail. This solution enhances flight safety, increases stability, and facilitates optimal weight distribution. In addition to providing lift, the wings of the aircraft also function as a reservoir for a critical resource known as fuel. The refueling cycle commences promptly upon the disembarkation of passengers, particularly when the aircraft is preparing for a new flight. The duration of the process is typically between 15 and 45 minutes, contingent upon the refueling crew's organization, the gasoline volume, and the speed of delivery. Traditional tanker trucks which are equipped with powerful pumps and filtration systems, are employed to deliver fuel to aircraft at the majority of airports in Russia and around the globe. Nevertheless, key hubs, including Moscow's Sheremetyevo Airport, implement a more contemporary and effective hydrant system. The procedure is expedited, and the load on the air side of the runway is reduced by the direct supply of fuel to the aircraft stands through underground pipelines. At the aircraft, a compact yellow dispenser replaces bulky tanker vehicles with hoses. It is connected to the receiver, which is situated beneath the wing, and to one of the 188 fuel columns that are concealed beneath technical compartments. This system guarantees both safety and high-speed fuel delivery by reducing the risk of contamination and spillage. 
The fuel undergoes multi-stage filtration prior to delivery, which involves the removal of moisture and mechanical impurities. It is imperative to eliminate the possibility of engine and aircraft system damage. The operator carefully supervises the refueling process. They activate a unique switch every 30 seconds to verify that they are in control. The process is under constant supervision, which enhances safety and prevents accidents, as the control automation system comprehends this information upon receiving these signals. The quantity of aviation kerosene necessary for long-haul flights is substantial, equivalent to the capacity of numerous automobiles. The refueling process is a highly sophisticated and meticulously monitored phase of aircraft operation that is intricately connected to the safety of passengers and the efficacy of flights. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.